Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome back to MX Strike! And I somehow managed to do that Yay. really well without jumbling my words. <sighs> Alright, come on. I'm tired. Maybe I'm just like, I don't know, maybe it's because I've been working more and doing more stuff by around here lately. There's been a lot going on, off and on. Alright. Maybe that's why I'm always fucking asleep. Come on, take out. us into the game. Yeah, let us in the game. We need to play. It's it's time to play the game. Okay, let's see what we got this time. It's time to play the game. Whoa! That is a first. What me referencing Triple H? No. Okay. Um, I'm kind of really liking this. Uh, this free login crate now. As you guys see, we got a legendary Airmac variant. It's for the Osprey. We got a Gothic one. That's pretty cool. I never had one of those yeah, before. I never had a variant. Glitcherson. What is Glitcherson? Wait, am I glitching? Yeah. The point I'm glitching. Can't put out when you're glitching, motherfucker. <sighs> I still, I still really want that friggin' warthog. <sighs> Osprey's the most warthog no. Car and twisted metal. The saucer and angel is the most no friggin' Neo is the most expensive one. You're thirty-seven hundred. Helix is only eighteen hundred. Wait, what ones do we have? Wow, my cur my I hate how my my. As you guys see, the window here uh, is, is, a, is in widescreen, but for some reason, I, the game window itself I, I, is in full screen. So my cursor can go outside the uh, actual g the game area itself, and it's rather kind of annoying. What one do we have? Oh! Wait. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, what? Why can't we buy the Osprey in here when we already got it? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. That's really cool though. And here's the Recon Angel. Looks like a uh, P-38 um... Plane. The only thing, only P thirty eight I know is a Wather P thirty eight, and I only know that because Megatron. <laughs> I was just gonna say that's Megatron. Um, yeah, that's that's the only reason I know that gun because that's the gun Megatron used to be. Okay, so we got Probe, Joker, we got a Bear Trap, a Boomer, Doka, Rainbow Tank. Oh, we got a bomb. Rocketeer. La, 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 la bomba. Hmm. What is the armor dello? That's the one with low damage and high armor, isn't it? Let me see. Armor dello would probably have good armor. Dillo just, for sh just, just kind of guessing. Dillo for short. These scrappy like tanks were adapted from older designs, made them very cost efficient for their punch. Great one used in mass for quick rushes, but not good at the front against tank pushes weak from the rear. Okay, so these are light tanks. Okay. Good to know. Armadillo is a good name for it. That reminds me of this fucking album cover I came across. It was like, it was like literally an armadillo tank. What was it? It was like... I forget the band's name, the album was Tarkus, and I only knew that because that was... I was basically looking up JoJo characters, and that came up. There's the rest of the stuff. There's a guy in part one called Tarkus. Oh yeah, there's a JoJo character named after a, a, an album. Yeah, that's shocking. 
They're all named after albums. But, uh, yeah, it's like an armadillo with, like, tank treads and shit. It's kind of cool looking. Pokemon, where's your armadillo tank? I had a Tesla tower before this. That's actually kind of cool. The freaking Gorgon here, good lord! Mm. Is there an armadillo Pokemon? Is Sand Slash an armadillo? I don't think there's an armadillo Pokemon. Oh, guys, I do like the Vulcans. Because essentially Wait, these these Vulcans are m miniature uh, warthogs, believe it or not, because it says here Aerial attack drone equipped with a Gatling gun. When deployed, this flying unit will attack ground targets. It can be assigned orders if needed. There's also something else I really want in here too. Where is it? Wait, Stain Slash is a hedgehog, right? I believe so. Because I'm trying to think if there's any armadillo Pokemon, and I don't know if there are. This one. Blaster. I know there's armadillo Digimon. Blaster Guardian. Additional firepower shoots at the same time and in the same direction as your air mech. Consumes energy on you, so the four Guardian units can be equipped to an air mech of one to four. Four? He used to be only three! Well, you got another <sighs> thingy. Yay for you. And yay for thingies. This is gonna be the. This is just gonna be one of those things where just random crap's gonna spew out of my mouth. And I'm not gonna understand half of it. That's what today is gonna to fucking be. I can already fucking tell. It's already going that way. <laughs> Dinger is still hilarious to me. I don't know why. Dinger? Yeah, Dinger. There's a, there's a thing dinger. here. It's a radar. It's called a Dinger. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know why I find that name so freaking funny. Because, because. Hey, baby. Wanna see my Dinger? God damn it. Oh, uh, where is it? Where would I put the Guardian to? Would it be in here? Wait, that's units! So, does that mean like it's actually a part of the loadouts now? G -g -g unit. I was listening to a bunch of Eminem last night. Don't judge me. I don't use Jackals. That, that new album is fucking fire. Oh, because if memory serves me correctly, these used to be directly, uh, directly associated with your air mech. These weren't something you could directly build. DPS 20. Armor none, because these, um, I believe these are unkillable. Like these uh, stay mm. around your armor the whole entire time. Did you say armored nun? Nun. Oh. Like you said armored nun. Okay, so that means I'm gonna have to. I, guys, I'm gonna say something right now. But I'm probably gonna end up. Getting uh, just completely removed in the missile silo Because it's one thing I learned about it. It's good for taking out say I help and take out um, The uh, derelict uh, Outposts and stuff but It takes way too long to not only to become unlocked, it also takes too long to build for what it is. And it also takes a few seconds for it to launch too, so I mean... Okay. So we're up against... Raven, I think? Sand Ram! A rocky oasis in the middle of the wasteland with a central mesa overlook. 
The route between the warring strongholds is circuitous and well defended. Unless the bridge barricades are destroyed. Wait a minute. You are Raven, yes. Oh, I know this map. Yeah, I know this map. Yeah, because I believe the blast the um the drones used to be a part of this system right here. You just click on them and you would get an extra one. Uh, let's see. I knew it. That's still the same. Uh, yeah, what? That, that stupid non comment just made me re remember something that fucking confuses the hell out of me. Okay, so two, two. Seven, six, and two. Apparently, space bar always so out of the poison because that's actually what I was using. No, okay, so that's just for the drones. Wait, you pick up the drones. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Ah, no. I forgot we got the um we got the special um snowflake um trail. Forgot about that. I know it's not Christmas, it's the only trail we got, okay? <laughs> wow, Raven just got a rascal. Okay, now if memory serves me correctly, that middle outpost down here is completely sealed off. I mean, we can get to it, but we're going to have to get it from the air. Let's see. And... Let's capture it. Yeah, I'm going to run. Can I get anything? And someone actually gave me a tip on how to... I best use the, um... Uh, this air mix ability, so I currently striker. It was called. Sorry, I completely forgot. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I can get a couple things. See, guys, I told you, I do read the comments. In case I you guys don't believe me. Yeah, see, so, so he he do read the comments. You may not think he read the comment, but he he, he read the comment. So quit being being trolls in comments because he reads them. Okay. See, it started redneck, then it just turned into Mr. Mackey. Yeah, I was wondering where you're going. Oh, yeah, it started redneck, oh, and then yes. it just turned into Mr. Okay, Mackey. Okay, I'm keeping these things. Yeah, the missile solo and the Bucky, I'm definitely going to have replaced. I'm probably going to replace them with like some uh, different tanks. That's just so I can um, basically have some tank variances instead of just using just one. And so we can possibly have like some tanks out earlier and a bit faster than others. And if I must be honest, I do appreciate every single comment that you guys send send us, and I do read them all. And I yeah, do reply to them as well. Why are you guys going over here? See if there's anything I can you guys are just gonna get murdered if you try that. You know what's fucked up? 
I'm huh? drowning in money, but I'm 90% sure I have all of the best equipment I can actually buy. And the only better shit I can get is from, like, like personas or, like, fucking just random drops in the dungeon. So you're basically rich as hell and you're... And you got all the best stuff. Best stuff I can buy. Like, I can't buy anything better, but I have tons of money. Yeah, so you bought all the best items, and... I mean, yeah, I could... Yeah, I bought all the good shit. I mean, I could potentially come across better items in the dungeon, or... If any of my personas, because when you... Some personas, when you get, when you level them up, will give you an item. Hmm? And I've got one in my inventory right now that's like that, that's gonna hit its max soon. Um... So maybe I'll get something better out of that. But other than that, I have pretty much all the best shit I can have. Oh, these are one of my favorite things in this game, these drones. I don't cool. usually go with the energy or the, um, the melee drones because, like, the melee drones, as the name pertains, or as the name, as the namesake is, is that they hit... Well, they hit with, uh, blades. Like, they hit- they basically hit the enemies by themselves because of- uh, for, because of their blade design. I don't really like that. If I must be honest. Okay, so, seven and two. I would put down two turrets, but I think this one right here is gonna be good enough. I hope I'm not that mistaken. Alright, you guys head off and I'll set this up right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go after that uh, middle outpost just by myself. Still. I keep on building this up. Oh shit. And there's, there's one thing I wish that they did with this game, if I must be honest. Oh, we died. Uh, the ability to uh, cancel things that you did not mean to build. Uh, basically, once you build, oh, once you build them, that's it. You're stuck with it. Wish you could have a choice of. Uh, have the option to cancel it. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry guys, I do love these things. These things are so freaking helpful. Ow! <laughs> I didn't know that worked either. Okay, I want you guys to all head out. S decrease the, uh... Creep production time, or say the troop production time. Is that creep or troop? Units, okay, so it's troop. Don't go for that already. Shit. We're gonna fly. <laughs> Is that over here? Yeah, I really cannot wait to get that warthog. I hope we get that soon. Oh, we're gonna get it for free, or we're gonna buy it. So, one way or another, we're gonna get the damn thing. Oh, oh there's the brute! I was wondering where that brute came from. What the hell? Or where that brute went to? Came from. Uh, came from the other side. Welcome to the we're other <laughs> we were literally, literally thinking the exact did, same thing. Did we really just go to the same fucking place with that? Are yes. Are fucking for real? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Because I just started singing it, and then, and then as soon as I started singing it, you just got in and just started just, just singing the rest. <laughs> wow. Well, God. there, here's the thing. God damn it. That's like the title song to Underground 2, and as much as I played that game, I should have that fucking song memorized. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that, they're bringing some reinforcements for that!
that's essentially the theme of Underground 2, and I played the fuck out of Underground 2, so I should know that song by heart. Okay, so... There's another really good Doors song in, um... American Wasteland. Let's wait until we get about two or three tanks, then we'll send them down. Yeah, we'll send them down over there towards the, um... Towards the central, uh... Factory? I think? That's what it is. Yeah, we'll to the factory! To the factory! Damn it. Oh, is that to the factory, Ark? The factory! No, it's a, uh... That's not a factory. What is that? Okay, I need to not do that. Yeah, don't do that. So one thing I learned is best to just not try to imitate me because you either end up failing in general or you're going to end up causing harm to yourself. No, this is a general warning. <laughs> Move it! Oh, uh, you know I only do it because I love you, right? God damn it. I only make fun of you because you're my homie. My crew gotta die, homie, yo. I need to stop listening to rap. Here's the tank like straight for your face! Yeah. Now we need to go and oh, make yeah, one I'm more today, blaster. And now let's go and take four troops and let's bring them. Oh, she put her troops. Yeah, fuck it, I guess. There's four dudes right here. One, two, three, four. Oh, what the hell is this? Power plant? We'll Power it. station. Kind of want to play Dark Stalkers. Okay, so we got a position off to the right that's in the process of being captured, so let's send all these guys over here. Take that revenge up your ass, you jerk! Revenge for your face. Reve uh, revenge full of face right here. Revenge full of face. I'm being dumb right now, don't mind me. Dude, 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 listen, 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 listen. Huh? huh? I haven't been dumb the whole video. So, like, get on my level, player. It almost sounded like you said you haven't been dumb the whole entire video. I <laughs> have, though. <laughs> I've been very dumb. I've been the dumbest. I've been the dumberest, dude. Okay, let's go off to this, uh... What is over here? Um, wrist. Oh, this, uh, factory here, and it's... Uh, oh, there's a tank over here. Is Just look for a place factory? to... Look for a place to get these tanks like healed up. The Donkey Kong thing, or the... Oh, what's this? Please don't be a shit one, though. Okay, Actually, so there's still you're a good one. Still one base left, and I'm gonna have all of you follow I, I, us. I can't believe I got. So we're gonna be going up to the left, or going down, and gonna go to the right. That's just so we wouldn't. We so that's just so we won't come across the. Um, Enemy base. That's a full. Well, you look cool. That's the freaking T99. Give me back this turret. Ooh, no, look. I want the turret, I not the tank. Thank you. Dude, I have, I have never seen this demon before. He looks fucking sick. Okay, I want all of you guys to follow us, and let's head up over here. Kinda looks like like a robot angel pharaoh. No wait, um. Okay, so you guys are gonna take this bridge. Not complaining. Tempted to use that shit. Okay, come on, come on. We need as much so much help as we can get here. There's only six tanks. Okay, come on. Feels like, noise. Feels like I'm uh, leading a, a, a um. Feels like I'm leading a herd of sheep. Except these sheep 
are very heavy and can kill you. I don't know. A sheep probably could kill you if it really wanted to. And as in by killing you, by shooting you in the face. You could probably kill someone if it really wanted to. I don't know. A herd of sheep could. I mean, those motherfuckers trample you, you're done. Okay, I need all you guys coming Anime down. monster games have... Also, Japanese games have taught me anything. It's that their wool fucking stores electricity, so they can just shoot deadly electricity at you and kill you. Okay, I need all you guys come down this way. Oh, this way is perfect. Because our, I know two different games, possibly more, where that's a thing. Because it's the thing in Pokemon with Marie. I was literally just going to say that. <laughs> it's also in Mega Man 10. Sheet Man. Because... I think Come they on, might have ran out of ideas. Then again, they're making yes. Mega Man 11, and they're still. I making love first blood. <laughs> like sheep man secure, had to be the creative one, yet they're still secure. making more robots. Oh my lord! So we're going to take a foil here. Okay, okay, come on, calm down, you stupid tanks. Don't need to be pushy. And we're dominating. Get out of here, buddy. Do another. <laughs> tomorrow, and then I'll try to beat that boss again. I want to play something else, though. Okay, go out and attack, and just destroy everything. Just go and have a just go and have yourselves a field day. Uh. Oh, you're done. You're done, son. You're dead, son! You're motherfucking dead, son! Yep. It's no use! That was weird. The attack button didn't work there for a second. I. Uh, <laughs> look at this, the look at this freaking hell dropping! <laughs> wow! Okay, I gotta go and see this bloodbath. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, I was not expected to see that much. What the hell? That was insane. I was expecting to see a few tanks there. Like a few surviving tanks. It's blood at the base. I was not expecting to see just a constant barrage of just like <laughs> bullets. Wow, that was nuts. Oh, sweet. Okay. Didn't get a key for that, though. Okay. Mako. Mako. Okay. And he got a... What is that? Crater! Once a popular sightseeing spot located within a natural park, this barren depression is now fought over for its mineral reserves and has been mined to drive off outside intruders. That is a... what is that? Oh, Osprey! That's the... Oh, steampunk! Okay! Wasn't sure what that was for a second. Let's get that open. One... Oh, crap. We only got two slots here. So it looks like this is gonna be our main monkey... Uh, monkey making... Yeah! Main money making spot! Come on, brain! Main... Yeah, make those monkeys. God damn it! Uh, Just so make sure you don't make trucks, too. Truck, not monkey. <laughs> yeah, because you end up pissing a lot of people off. They got over it when they realized Beast Wars was the shit. But the uh, question is, did everybody get over it, or still just some people just like... <laughs>
I do know of like there, like I was looking at random shit on TF Quick and there's this one fan that was like really big in the early days of like the internet fandom of Transformers back in the 90s that was like fucking insane. It was this crazy ass chick. She fucking walked around with a pet snake wrapped around her 90% of the time. Wow. And like she was fucking crazy. Okay. She thought that this. He, like, was a Decepticon sympathizer and thought they were, like, the real good guys. Whoa. And, like, she hated anything to do with Beast Wars. Anything to do with it. Wow. Yeah, it, like, I was reading about, I forget her name, but I was reading about her, okay, I was like... Okay. Don't mess with that, Ed. Crazy. <laughs> Don't mess with her, good god. Yeah, she was like one of the people who helped like organize the original BotCon, like the first one before Hasbro took it over. Ah. Because it was originally just a fan con before Hasbro took it over. Um. And then, um. They switched it to another company running it, and now it's over, but it, you know. Well, there's a shit on credits. It, it's crazy. You find a lot of shit when you just get bored and look around on the. Like, Wouldn't doubt that. there's a tidbit. Here's a tidbit I found that blew my fucking mind. What? Um, I was on Darkstalkers Wiki looking up my girl, Alicia, right? Hmm. Um, he's in Persona 1, kinda. <clears throat> what? Felicia from Darkstalkers is technically in Persona 1. How? Because. Okay, so the Neko Mata is, you know, what Nekos are based on, like, you know, the Japanese mythological creature that Nekos are based on, right? Mm hmm They've always been in SMP. In Persona, in Persona 1, because the thing about Persona 1 too is they have different models than, um, a lot of the other games do, because, like, 3 just kind of used all the Nocturne designs. Mm -hmm. Um, and until then, and so, like, everything since then has been kind of based on those. But, Persona 1 and 2 had unique monster designs, and the ones for the Nekomata in Persona 1 do kind of look like Felicia. Like, they got the blue hair, not exactly the same shape, but they got the blue hair and kind of the same build, right? So, in Revelations Persona, in what is probably the only good thing that shitty-ass dub did, they, t they named the Nekomata, they renamed it to Felicia, as a oh. reference to her. Which, every other thing in that fucking version of the game is shit. Because that's like the four kids dub of video game translation. Oh, like, that's not good then. Yeah, because it's butchered, they literally fucking changed the fucking race of a character to make it more diverse. They, uh, cut basically like half the fucking game like there's like an entire huge secondary quest you could do in the Japanese version that they just completely cut yeah that version of the game is not good luckily all future Atlas translations are pretty good but the first couple were a little uh... oh shit that's a hat move it those things are tearing to pieces! Wait. Uh, Revelations, the, 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 the... Originally, they were gonna call the SMT series Revelations over here. And on to the bottom. But they... They only did that for, like, two games. That being Persona 1 and, um... The GBA ver... The GBC version of Last Bible 1. And I heard that version's pretty good. Though there are some grammar errors and there are some issues with the translation in that. Though I think there's a patch that fixes some of that. Go in security area! Come on guys, let me get lazy. Because I was looking there's a patch that fixes a lot of the sprites because they did some of the sprites too to kind of tone down for American audiences because American audiences can't handle anything apparently. But um... Shit. There's a mod that fucking fixes that, so it probably fixes some of the dialogue for you. One, two, three, four. I heard that's a good game. Just 
the translation is kind of buggy because, or iffy because it was an early SMT game Oops. translation. There, there wasn't really any good ones. I think. I think Persona 2 Eternal Punishment got a decent one, but I don't think they really started getting really good until like Nocturne. Like Nocturne and on is when they actually started, you know, caring. Hi, Brute. Sweet. But uh, yeah, I still find, think that's crazy. That the two games I've been playing the fuck out of recently technically crossed over at one point. Okay, so what are we? What? Uh, it's just a bag of more hits I got here. So you guys keep on hearing the sound of the bag. I'm sorry. And one thing I'll say. They're not as bad as... Those aren't as bad as the toxic waste things that we were eating that one time. No, but they still got a bit of a kick to them. Yeah, they're one of like the more well-known sour candies. I think they're the most well-known sour candy. Like they're the most popular. Yeah, like the only sour candy I ever really liked was like sour Skittles. Those are fucking bomb. Sour Patch Kids are pretty good too. I like those. Yeah, sour sweet gone. Yeah, they'll fucking they'll fucking cut holes in your condoms before you have sex with your girlfriend, and then they'll hug you afterwards. That's essentially what, what, the, what the commercials do. Like, they do fucked up shit like that. You ever seen the Star Pets Kids commercials? Yeah, was it? I'm after seeing them. There's like, um, a group of them got together. They were sawing, uh, they were cutting like an, a giant type metal pineapple to make a crash on some woman's car. And then they fused the pineapple with the car to make it look like a pineapple car. I haven't seen that one. That one's really stupid. Wow. Yeah, that I s I've nice. seen that one a few times. Maybe that's a can Canadian exclusive. I don't know. Maybe. Y'all get weird commercials, man. I've seen some of y'all's commercials. Your PSAs are fucked up. Or the ones from like Quebec or whatever were, because best friends mention some and of course I look them up and they're really fucked. Yeah. Like there's this one about Quebec, I will be honest and few other Canadians will even agree with me. Uh Quebec is a little bit unusual. Yeah, I, I've learned a bit about Quebec cuz that's where the best friends are, like the super best friends are all uh, uh in Shit. Quebec, so I know a little bit. And their fucking PSAs are brutal. Like, there's this one where, like, it's a workplace safety thing about, like, be careful not to make accidents and shit, or, like, you know, think more and shit, or whatever. And at the end, this chick, like, slips and spills hot oil over herself. And you get this really brief, graphic-ass shot of the chick's face bubbling up and getting scalded from the oil, and it's like... Okay, ain't that a bit much, Canada? I never see that before. I honestly didn't. Fuck out, dude. Look up like Canadian fucking like workplace safety PSAs or something. You'll find it. It's fucked up. I was like, okay, so this guy probably went on to direct a horror movie. <laughs> Like, I understand trying to get your point across, but maybe calm the fuck down. It's like the, all those old uh, fucking truth commercials. Like the whole, like, anti-tobacco truth commercials. Which, I'm against smoking cigarettes. I think they're nasty. I never want to smoke. But still, some of those are like... Some of those are like really kind of over the top, man. And a lot of the anti-drug ones are pretty fucked, too. 
No, I don't want to be Bucky's. Ah! I did not mean to do that. This is what I was talking about. I did not mean to make a whole crap ton of Bucky's. Actually, so John Tron has a good video about that, about all the really shitty anti-drug PSAs. Okay. You guys go and secure an area. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to drop this T99 turret on their heads. These guys over here. Here. I was going to see for that base that we haven't captured yet, but I'm just like, why well, don't I just drop it on these idiots? This guy's a bit of a pain in the ass! Hey, oh. Oi. I remember they used to show a lot of those uh, kinds of like drug PSA and like truth campaign things on uh, wrestling of all things. That's where I saw a lot of them. Which they're trying to get like teenagers and shit and so I guess that's like the demo there. But Whoops. Whatever. Come on. I hate fighting this fucking fish guy. <coughs> like no fan like I should no fish come back, but you're a little bit unusual. Oh, I didn't even Milk notice we're bags. dominating, sweet! Milk bags, need I say more? I still, that's, that's never going to make sense to me. It just seems so... Yeah, and we also have cartons of sugar. That's slightly... It, it's less like, it's weird, like, um... We have like... It's like the... Milk and sugar sw uh, swap pl uh, swap places. Well, like, I've seen sugar here where you can get it in like tubes, like easy pour like tube sugar. I've seen that here in like boxes, and then there's like bags, but I haven't seen cartons here. And milk bags, to my understanding, is just a Canadian thing, and it just seems so fucking counterproductive and. Stupid, because, like, what if you get a hole in that fucking thing? And it's way easier to put a hole in a fucking bag than it is a fucking milk carton. Yeah, all of our, um... Uh, yeah, I think in your part of Canada, they just have regular-ass milk cartons, right? Yeah. Yeah, all of our, um... Bags of sugar is, like, made out of this, like, paper stuff. Yeah, it's like kind of like a weird cardboardy paper. Yep. Same. That's what the. We must be fucking bored. We're sitting here talking about what containers of sugar are made of. God. Oh. So not only does that upgrade the uh, the ability, but that also activates it too. Okay, just good to know. Also, I'm going to say something shocking. Are you Bag being serious cereal. or are you being... Uh, I was just going to say, are you being serious or are you being sarcastic? I'm being serious. And people are going to fight me on this. Bag cereals are better than box cereals in a lot of ways. Because, A, a lot of that shit's like fucking generic brand shit. Yeah, it might not be as good as the main shit but it's always cheaper you get like way more because you buy a box of fucking cereal they don't give you shit oh does uh yeah, get bag, bag cereal man. shit we have to have a few of those before they're good they taste usually just as good if not a little less than the main brand shit yeah and they're way cheaper you get way more and that shit's resealable Like, they're just more okay. convenient in, like, every way. Oh, we got a thousand. Okay. 
I, like, I understand buying name brand shit, but like a lot of times you're just paying extra for less food in a fancy name. Here's the thing, guys. I grew up with not a lot of money around. I lived in a fucking trailer most of my life. Money wasn't, you know... Especially when Dad left, money was was kind of a thing we had to keep safe. So I'm used to kind of kind of going ghetto on some things, man. I'm used to penny pinching. That's just kind of how it was. So you know, when you grow up saving money, you just learn to adapt to certain things. Like video games, <laughs> like that's why like a lot of my shit was bought yes. either on sale or fucking used. Okay, well, that must be an I issue they need to get fixed. So that's really weird that we can't post stuff. Yeah, used games is kind of a iffy thing because the developers don't get any money from it. But and when you fucking trade in games like a GameStop, dude, they fucking they fucking fuck you every time. They will find any excuse they can to fucking cheap you out of games traded in, man. Like, they see one little speck of dirt that's like fucking five dollars off it or whatever. Oh, I like, didn't know you could do that. They fuck you at GameStop, man. But, oh, wow. trade-ins do have like a couple of benefits and A, they're cheaper for the buyer and older games. And I've like, I've only ever bought one game twice that didn't work from a trade-in. Every other game I bought worked fine. But this one game I bought twice, the same fucking game, and both of those copies didn't work. And that was... First time I buy it, I can't get past the main menu. I buy it. I can play one mode. Everything else crashes. So I literally had to buy that game three times before I actually got a good copy. And I'm happy I finally did because now it's my favorite tech and but I think that one and three are my favorites. But, like, it took me three times to get a good copy of Tekken 5. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Though, my second attempt did lead up to me returning it and getting Soul Calibur 3 instead, and that's a good game, so I'm not even mad. Oh, that's, that's it. really the only time that <coughs> that's going to do it for this time, guys. Alright, so, uh... Wait. Dominate over the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Dominate the like button? That could be misconstrued a lot of ways, R. There you are, guys! <laughs> This is just one warhead that's in my mouth right now. Woo!